What's going on, my peoples? Good morning. How's everybody doing, man? I'm here driving to my local job right now, right? And um, I've just been thinking, man, about, you know, about a lot of stuff, you know, trucking, you know. You know, I don't make a lot of trucking videos no more. But I just want y'all to know, man, unity is strength. Division is weakness. You know what I'm saying? And um, one thing, talking to all my young truck drivers now, one thing when you come in the game, one thing you're going to um, notice is when you um, pay attention to YouTube, you're going to notice a lot of truck drivers um, talking about local versus OTR. I'm going to be honest with you. In my opinion, there's no versus. There's no competition. There's no competition. There's no comparison. It's not comparable. You know what I'm saying? Um, what I think it should be, I think everybody um, should unite. And um, can you notice that in, in the trucking in this industry, they like it where we're divided, you know, because they divide and rule, you know. A lot of over-the-road drivers right now don't really know um, about local trucking. <clears throat> they don't really know uh, how much money some of, some of these guys that's working in local trucking is making. They don't really know about um, the benefits and stuff, all the perks and stuff. You know what I mean? They don't really know um, about insurance and stuff like that. And vice versa. A lot of um, local truckers don't really know about the um, struggles out there as an old road driver um being shut down at a place that you don't want to be you know what i mean um not being able to go home when you want to go home stuff like that you know what i mean um one thing i want to let y'all know because you guys might hear this a lot from um from youtubers and stuff one thing you guys gonna hear is that an over-the-road driver will tell you that a local trucker um, is always getting a phone call from their boss and their, their boss is annoying and and I'm here to tell you that that's not true because you got to understand that the majority of local trucker if not almost 100% can't be on the phone like that when we're driving anyway you know what i mean like they give us a job and they expect us to go out there and do the job you know so it, it's going to be a lot of naysayers and it's going to be a lot of people that's going to make you feel like you don't want to come in local trucking and do the local trucking thing you know what i mean and vice versa it's going to be a lot of people that it's not they're gonna tell you so much things about over the road and you're not gonna to wanna to go over the road. You know what I'm saying? If you ask me, in my opinion, um, I believe that I know me doing local, by me do by me being over the road and by me being an owner operator before, I know that I'm getting the most bang for my buck as a local trucker. Um, one thing that um, truck drivers are not going to talk about, they're not going to talk about health. You know what I mean? And I'm not talking about YouTube truck, truck. I'm talking about like trucker drivers in your circle that you're gonna um, that you're gonna know. Truck drivers in your neighborhood that you're gonna know. They don't talk about health. You know what I mean? It's no comparison when you talk about health. It's no comparison comparing a local trucker to an over the road trucker unless you unless you see like a lazy local trucker because it, it, being over the road you, you're just sitting there you're driving that's what you do you drive you just sit there you know what I mean no matter how physically fit you are you gotta stay on top of your game you gotta get out of the truck you gotta exercise you gotta walk you gotta stay active that's why I like um, doing food service, man. Um, 
keep my body in good shape, um, stay active, I stay at it, I stay on the grind, I'm on my feet every day, and, um, you know, and I love what you do, I love what I do. Um, the majority of guys that in this field that I've been around for a couple of years now, they seem to love what they do, you know? All my, all my fuel tanker friends that are um, pulling fuel locally, they love what they do, you know what I mean? Um, all my um, LTL friends that's doing that LTL every day, they love what they do, you know what I mean? And then vice versa, I got some um, friends that's over the road, they love what they do. So what I'm trying to tell you is, um, when you come in this game, don't get caught up in the hype. Um, in local versus over the road because at the end of the day you got to make up your own mind you got to make up your own decision um both local and over the road is an opportunity you know what i mean and um i believe that if you give a, a man an opportunity they are supposed to capitalize on it you know what i mean that's what's wrong with this country right now everybody always thinking about dividing Everybody always thinking about division. You know what I mean? Nobody want to come together. That's why they can pretty much do what they want to do to truck drivers because it, 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 they know it's no unity, yo. They, yo, there's nobody can debate this with me. Unity is strength, yo. You see what I'm saying? Unity is strength. And they know in the trucking industry, there's no unity. Why you think the brokers do what they want to do with the rates out there? You see what I'm saying? And I'm not going to sit here and act like it's unity in local trucking because there's no unity either. You know what I mean? And if it was unity in local trucking, you would not see those jobs for $10 an hour. You would not see those jobs for $12 an hour. You would not see those jobs for $14 an hour. And those are the jobs that make us local truck drivers look bad. And I'm here to tell you, if you're over the road and you're scared to become local because of those jobs, I'm here to tell you, my friend, that there are some really good local jobs out here, man. You got to do your research. You got to um, know people. You got to meet people. And, and, and you got to keep your eyes and your ears open until one of those jobs are open. Because we're not out here making no ten dollars an hour, eleven dollars an hour, twelve dollars an hour, thirteen dollars an hour, fourteen dollars an hour, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. We're making, we're making some real grown man money out here, and it's out here. You just gotta do your research. You know what I mean? I know those jobs that um, don't pay. They're the ones that's always coming up on the job board. To be honest with you, most of these good jobs they never even pop up on the job board. So that's where you gotta do your homework. Like right now, I'm looking in front of me, and I see this company. Um, this company they haul mail from Miami to Orlando, and <clears throat> I think the driver get like it's a local job, of course. Um, I think the driver get like $150 a run, so he 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 turn around two times at $300 for the day, and he's going home. And if somehow he can make another run, that's $450. Oh, that job ain't never gonna hire because guess what? He ain't never gonna quit. Who's gonna quit that? That's sweet. You know what I mean? So there's no verses, man. And truck drivers gotta get that stuff out their head, yo. You know what I mean? Like each one teach one. You know what I'm saying? Each one teach one. Most of those over the road companies. A lot of them don't even offer a good 401k. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy, Healthy Trucker. Make sure y'all go check out his channel. You know, me and him was talking all the other day. And um, we were talking about benefits. And his company, they want to charge this man $250 a week for insurance on his family, bro. That's a big thing that I don't hear nobody really talk about man some of these jobs are really good when it comes to insurance man like Walmart is a good company but they're not local they're over the road you know what I mean it's good jobs locally and it's good jobs over the road you know what I mean 
So I don't want my young drivers, my drivers that's coming in the game. I don't want you guys to get caught up in the BS, man. You guys just get in the um, field, educate yourself. You know what I'm saying? Open your mind. Um, figure out what you want to do. Figure out where you want to live. And when I say figure out where you want to live, um, living in the right area have a lot to do with being successful in trucking, man. Trust me, it really do. Because right now, I'm going to be honest with you, I live in the wrong area. I don't live in a truck state. You know what I mean? I live in Florida. It's hard out here for truck drivers in Florida, man, trying to find a local job. These jobs that's on the board is ridiculous. You know what I mean? So, if you're in a truck state, that's great. If you're ahead of the pack. You know what I mean? You're ahead of the, um, you're just ahead. There's some people, there's some states where I would encourage, um, some people, yo, you should be an own operator because you got a lot of freight locally. You know what I mean? Do you know how it feels to come home every day and lay down in your own bed and see your wife and kids? You know what I mean? Some of these truck drivers, they don't even talk about family. They don't got no values. You know what I mean? They put trucking first. They put the money first. They go around and chase the money every day. You know what I mean? A lot of these um, guys make it seem like it's so, it's so, it's such a big thing to be an owner operator. They don't talk about that mother effing headache, bro. You know what I mean? It's a headache that comes with it. You know what I mean? And I encourage anybody that want to do it, just go and do it. You know what I mean? Even though it's a headache, it ain't nothing to it. But I'm going to tell you this, and I got this coming up on my future videos. You know what I mean? Because, um, you know, on my channel, we talk about everything. But I got this coming up on my future videos. All my young truckers. And I'm talking about you, I'm talking to my young truckers, man. Old heads, I ain't trying to tell y'all nothing. Y'all know everything. I'm talking to my young truckers, man. I'm trying to educate my young, young truckers. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, somebody got to be a leader out here, man. And I'm telling my young truckers this. If you want to be an owner operator, great. But don't write off anything, everything. Because one day, you're going to want to buy that house, right? You're going to want to show some income. You know what I mean? You're going to run into a lot of owner operators. They're going to tell you to write off everything. And when you go in front of that mortgage person and you wrote off everything and you're showing these people that you made you made twenty five thousand a year, you ain't gonna get no house with that. You ain't gonna get no house with that, bro. Twenty five thousand times three, you might get you what a seventy five thousand dollar house. Where does that exist? It's out there, but in Florida, you're gonna live in a box for seventy five thousand dollars. You're gonna live in a box. You know what I mean? So it's certain things that you guys got to sit back, kick back, and um, do your research before you just get out there. You know what I mean? I see, sometimes I see some drivers, man. I see them on live because, you know, I'm a type of person. I watch every I watch every YouTuber, man. I watch every trucking YouTuber because, to me, they're um, doing something that's great. Um, whether whether the message is good or not, they're taking their time out to, um, you know, to reach out to people. You know what I mean, at the end of the day, no matter what message you're sending, I think that's great. I think that's giving back. You know what I mean? And sometimes when I hear some of these guys talking about over the road, and sometimes when I hear these people in the comment section talking about, sometimes I be hearing like truck drivers saying that local truckers don't make a thousand dollars a week. Sometimes I'm like, damn, bro, it's sad that my peoples ain't doing their research. A mind is a terrible thing to waste. It's sad, bro. There's no verses in trucking. It's just not. You know what I mean? Time for us to unite, y'all. Time for us to educate each other. You know what I mean? I want over the road drivers to ask me questions about local. And vice versa. You know what I mean? Even though I've been there, there's things out there that change that I don't know about. And I wanna learn. You know what I mean? Let's not let's not be closed minded. You know what I mean? Let's open up our minds, yo. 
let's stand for something. Let's not fall for anything. You know what I mean? Let's not be let's not be ignorant when it comes to these brokers trying to take everything out of our pockets. I mean, let's take this game back. Let's take back control. Let's get back on a roll. Let's not fold. Because to be honest with you, trucking to me is worth more than silver and gold. And I just made that up because I wanted to rhyme. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yo, appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all for watching my my channel, man. Y'all helping my channel grow nice and slow. You know what I mean? Y'all be easy. Have a good day.